this is what we removed. And if you feel it, I'm gonna hold the surgical site on your hand. You'll feel the bump that was bothering you and was hurting you. The interesting thing is where it's located. So this is the different layers of the skin. Here's the hair where it goes into the epidermis. And this is the dermis. And then underneath is the subcutis, the fat, and then the fascia underneath there's, in that specific area, there was no muscle. And what happened was that little bump, like in the story, Princess Nagoshiki, right? The, the, <laughs> the, the princess and the pea, it presses on the scalp and that was what was causing you the pain. So I want you to actually feel it. Um, this is exactly where it is. So if you look here, there's a little whitish thing there and that's right where the hair is. And the reason is because it comes from the muscle. So the muscle, there's an erector pylori muscle, which it attaches to the hair, makes it stand up to keep temperature. You know, it's when you see the dogs kind of like getting mad, the hair stands up. So this is the muscle that keeps the hair erect. And from that muscle, you can get the lyomyosarcoma because lyomyo is the, the myo is the muscle and you can get the sarcoma, the cancer in that and it metastasize to that. Interestingly, how it does it, we still don't know, but clearly it's able to send some messengers to allow it to penetrate and to change the healthy cells, kind of like uh, brainwashing them to become cancerous cells. And some of them are predisposed, they're more easily predisposed, and that's through buying them. It's kind of like, you know, the, the Iranian were buying some Russian Jews to, to help them spy on Israel. They, they, they're giving them incentive. Yeah, yeah it's, it makes no sense like against your own self. So remember, cancer is yourself. It is you, except it's a bad you, you know? And, and that's basically what, what's going on in here. So I'm going to let you actually feel it because I think you would love to feel it. Let me uh, hold this for you. I'll hold, it, I'll hold it for you. And you can feel it with your hand. We can wash it afterwards. Then go ahead. Go ahead. Take it. Yes. You feel the hardness? Yes. And that's exactly what it is because it's not supposed to be like a, between two fingers. Take it between one and the second finger and you'll feel that ball. You yes. feel that ball? Yes. That's exactly what it is. We'll just put it now in the bottle and we'll have Columbia, a dermatopathologist, uh, get us the diagnosis, which we, I know what it is, but it would be nice to have a confirmation and then the, the margins are clear, which they are. Thank you.